So, can we start? Uh, One minute. Okay. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jack Sun. I'm uh, working for Intel Corporation, the Open Source Technology Center on GPU virtualization projects. In this topic, I would like to present the QMGT project uh, for GPU virtualization solution for QM. This is the agenda. First, I will introduce the background of GPU virtualization and existing approaches. Then, let's have an in-depth look at the QMGT internals, including the architecture overview and the key changes. After that, we are summarize the current status of this project, including the implementation <coughs> status, the performance data, and uh, things still needs to do. There will also be a video demo after this presentation, as well as a Q&A session. Let's go. Today, more and more tasks require GPU acceleration. For example, gaming, video playback, web experience, and so on. Meanwhile, the virtualization is more and more important. So here is the question. How to GPU accelerate a task running inside a virtual machine? That's the GPU virtualization. It already becomes a fundamental requirement. So what's the key requirements of GPU virtualization? There are three. The first one, performance. Direct GPU acceleration for VM. <coughs> the second one, compatibility. Four GPU features for VM. The third one, sharing. Can your physical GPU share among multiple virtual machines? Let's have a look at uh, the possible approaches. The first approach is API forwarding. In this approach, there is a front-end driver running inside the virtual machine and a back-end driver running inside the host. The front-end driver forwards every DirectX or OpenGL API function call to the back-end driver. So the GPU acceleration is available by this approach, good 3D performance and uh, sharing capability can be achieved. However, there is no media of GPGPU support and it modifies too much in the guest graphics stack. That means it's complex. The second approach is direct pass-through. In this approach, the physical GPU is passed through to a particular VM. This VM owns the GPU exclusively. By this approach, best performance and full GPU features are available. However, there is no sharing since the GPU is owned by one single VM, right? And uh, also have a look at the third approach for GPU utilization. This is uh, what uh, we are talking about in this topic. As you will see, in this approach, we can achieve 
a good balance of performance, capability, and sharing. We'll check out it later. Intel has technologies corresponding to the three approaches mentioned above. They are GVTS for API forwarding, GVTD for direct pass-through, and uh, GVTG for full GPU utilization. <coughs> From now on, we are focused on GVTG. Intel GVTG is a full GPU utilization solution. It is supposed to run the native graphics driver in virtual machine, which means full featured with GPU for VM. And uh, it also can achieve good performance and sharing capability by a method called MPT, mediated pass through. What's MPT? Basically, the performance critical operations are passed through to VM, while the privileged operations are checked and uh, emulated. Also have a look at the QMGT. QMGT is the open source implementation of Intel GVTG for QM, of course. And the VGT device model is actually VMM agnostic. It doesn't depend on any particular hypervisor, actually and uh, licensed on the dual GPL and uh, MIT. Okay, let's have a look at the QMGT architecture. This picture, in this picture, as you may notice the, that there are several changes by the, this project. They are the MPT services in QAM, the VGT device model, the i915 driver, the changes in QMU, and adjust space ballooning required by both the host and the guest drivers. Please also pay attention to the red arrows. This means direct access for VM this means pass through. For host Linux, this means direct access. And the blue arrows means mediation. For VM, that means check and emulate. For example, what will happen if uh, VM1 read a MML register first? It will be checked by the MPT services in the QM hypervisor, then forwarded to the VGT device model. VGT will return a value by uh, reading the hardware or uh, getting a virtualized one to, uh, uh, anyway, return a value to the MPT services and then this value returned to VM1. That's the basic flow of uh, trapping and evolution. In this picture, the VGT device model serves as the centralized GPU resource manager. All other components need to interact with VGT. Okay. We'll check out these changes one by one. The first one, MPT services. This is mostly done in the QM hypervisor. The purpose is simple, to pass through something, to check and emulate something. Next, VGT device model. VGT is now an add-on feature of the host i915 driver. It maintains 
when we GPU instance for each VM and uh, it schedules the VGPU in a time shared manner. There are also changes in Cumul. First, Cumul needs to present VGPU in the virtual PC hierarchy for the VM. In particular, for Intel GPU, you need to reserve the special uh, PCI BDF uh, C uh, bus uh, bus two. Oh, sorry, can't remember that. And uh, the second, Cumul needs to request vGPU instance creation and destroy for a uh, VM. Of course. Uh, request this uh, from the VGT device model. Also, the host A915 driver was changed. Why this is needed? Basically, because the host A915 driver is now not allowed to occupy the whole physical GPU. Instead, the GPU is now under centralized management by VGT. VGT shares the GPU between the host, among the host and the virtual machines. These changes in particular include uh, redirect the I.O. interfaces to VGT and uh, the hardware interrupt of uh, graphics card is also handled by VGT instead of uh, host N915. <coughs> Address space ballooning. As we already know, this is required by both the host and the guest driver. Why this is needed? As you may know, graphics memory access is performance critical, must be passed through. In QMGT, this is achieved by partitioning the graphics memory address space. That means QMGT will split Split the graphics memory space into portions. Allocate one portion for a particular VM. However, the VM can see all physical graphics memory address space. So the translation between guest graphics memory address and the host graphics memory address is not needed since they are simply the same. However, only one portion of this address space is available. The VM knows that. Knows that. During its initialization, the GPU driver get such information and uh, mark other portions as not available. By this, uh, by this approach, there is, uh, it's not necessary to translate graphs address, so good performance can be achieved. And uh, what's more, QMGT will uh, will ensure the security by catching any address space violation from a malicious VM. So, just just to make sure I understand this correctly, um, do you use the IO menu in there? No. 
Okay, so you basically use the GPU's own address translation um, for the virtual memory of the gas. Exactly. Okay. So let's have a look at the implementation <coughs> status. First of all, basic features are complete. Linux guest works steadily with PPGTT disabled. PPGTT stands for per process graphics translation table. And uh, currently, QMGT supports Intel processor graphics built into first generation Intel core processor well for we guys, that means the Haswell microarchitecture. And uh, let's just uh, skip the details. Have a look at the performance data. We run four 3D benchmarks in a QMGT guest running Linux OS, of course. Three of these got <coughs> uh, about 19% uh, of uh, native performance. The worst case, Urban Terra, uh, also get more than 80% performance. So, the, pra the result uh, pretty good, right? Uh, so what do you render into? Do you render on the same screen or do you render into a shared frame buffer that you then display on the host? Uh, well, actually, uh, HVM, uh, including the host OS, uh, using the render engine, but only only one single foreground OS is displayed in the monitor. <coughs> this is uh, the current implementation. Sorry, but uh, we are planning the uh, we call it a uh, indirect uh, display mode. We'll into integrate you know the three D uh, display into the QMU uh, window. Uh, but I, I'm not sure uh, when will this be complete. Okay. So, oh, sorry. So what's the main reason that we got different performance ratio between the Oregon header and Warsaw test? So sorry, didn't know. Uh, you mean the why? Why they are different? The performance ratio is different. Uh, sorry, I didn't uh, look into that uh, details. And so, would it be would it be possible then to have uh, in the future perhaps have three screens uh, connected to each of the? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's possible. Each of the ports uh, on the yeah. system. Yeah, well, well, I, I believe uh, mm. it's, uh, it's uh, should be already in the to do list. Mm. Yeah. And uh, sorry, let's. Uh, and uh, it's still in the prototype status. Uh, there are missing features. For example, the shadow PPGTT, which is a must to support Windows guest, and uh, clean up and uh, stabilize the uh, prototype code. And uh, what's the most important uh, is publish the RFC code and uh, discuss the architectural and uh, upstreaming questions with you guys. So, let me summarize this topic. Intel GVTG provides a good balance of performance, feature, and sharing capability. Minimum <coughs> impact on performance critical operations running native graphs driver in VM. That means four GPU features. And uh, multiplexing capability. And uh, QMGT implements Intel GVTG for QM with more than 80% of native 3D performance. 
I've called as kind of song. And uh, community contributions are highly appreciated. Okay, let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> the demo video. This is uh, Ubuntu Linux running upon an Intel Haswell CPU with two VMs, both running 3D workload simultaneously. <coughs> this is VM1, Open Arena. VM2, You said that KVM GT distributes the graphic memory. And uh, uh, sorry, I, I, I would like uh, uh, to uh, apologize for my bad English skills. And uh, can I ask help for from my college, you know, uh, Nakajima Jun for help to complete the QE session? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, Jane, I. What's the question? Yeah, it was mentioned that KVM GT distributes the graphic memory and it shares the GPU in a time cycle manner, time sharing manner. Mm -hmm. So this distribution of graphics memory should affect the performance. So what's your call on this thing? You already mentioned, right? You know, yeah. we, we basically, you know, graphics memory. Yeah. We partition, right? Yeah. So VM memory is less now. So typically, hardware has a sufficient memory and uh, usually, uh, you know, even uh, Windows are not using, uh, you know, about half, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, so yes. it's okay to, you know, reduce uh, graphics memory, actually. Is the average space you're reducing the graphics memory more so than the into several portions and uh, each VM, uh, including the host OS, use one portion of that. I think the question is even, you know, people worry about if we reduce, you know, the graphics memory, right, then, you know, uh, the performance of graphics, right, in yeah. you know, 3D application may see kind of a performance regression. You, you mean there will be uh, performance loss? Yeah. Uh, it's not that important. Uh, for example, what's, what is, what's most important is uh, direct GPU acceleration for VM. You know, in this project, the GPU, uh, the rendering uh, accelerates the you know the the computing tasks for we we am for we am uh, directly without checking or emulation or other you know checks. Other questions? Yeah. This is the same word that's described as Gbird and then uh, uh, Unix conference this year, right? Uh, Image work. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. they are the same. G word actually is uh, another name of uh, Intel GATG, and uh, QMGT is the implementation for QM. I see. Yeah. Okay. So, in that paper, the, there's a lot of claims that it's completely architecture agnostic and uh, that whatever GPU stuff is still done is it happens to work on Intel but would be present on all GPUs. Can you expand on that? Did you actually look into other 
GPUs, ARM GPUs, Bed GPUs? Uh, well, the implementations, for example, the QMGT or the Zen GT projects support Intel graphics only. But the design, this Intel GVTG architecture can be ported to other graphics hard. I think uh, not that uh, big problem. I think the question is, did, did we look at other, you know, graphics? <laughs> not yet, yeah. of course. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Kind of architectures besides x86. Yeah. Architectures yeah. besides x86. GD, those uh, graphics uh, controllers have nothing to do with the x86. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, memory management on the OpenGL ES stuff is very That's the difference. So I'm curious if there's, if this really works as good as the paper claims. <laughs> I could be skeptic, but yeah, also I think uh, I will publish the code uh, soon, so you all, you can have a try and uh, let me know the results. I will. <laughs> Thank you. Because, okay. uh, with GPU pass through and with single VM, with this like, architecture and with GPU pass through. Uh, actually, the GPU pass through. The Intel GPU pass through for QM, uh, we don't we don't have an uh, existing you, you, you know Intel solution. I only have a prototype and not for what I O. It's uh, you know built upon the legacy PC design, and uh, I didn't measure the performance of uh, direct pass through. Uh, I think it's path through is uh, slightly faster because uh, in, in this uh, implementation we trap that uh, you know MMI I will access right? not all but uh, some of them yeah so still uh, you know direct assignment is faster yes but compared with uh, the native path through uses a BTD so sometimes you see some uh, regression because of uh, Mm -hmm. you know, IOT at least so. yeah. uh, you, you said that for mediated pass-through, privilege operations aren't trapped, but for fast privilege operations are trapped, but the other ones aren't. Is that a per card? How do you know which operations are privileged and which MMI are you? Know? Per, per card? Per card? Well, what do you mean by like card? Per, per hard, like? Yeah, it's a, the, the GPU specific. Right. You need to look at so for the, each what kind of uh, registers you need to try, which so, are yeah. okay functions. So for the GPU that you developed it on, yeah. there was a specified right. privilege and yeah. privilege yeah. list? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay, thank you. Should we do that talk? I've been thinking about it since Why not? Because some of us schedule meetings. Yes, it's just for the most of us that don't have it. So he wants to do it? Uh, it's and the same thing we did last year. Because last year everybody was saying, actually many people last year were saying, what do we do now that there's okay. QMU Summit? So QMU Summit is in this room? So yes, we sorry. talk in that yes. room? So, okay. QMU so Summit is in the other room. Before hmm? 